uh, I can speak about the space uh, that we operate in, which is the uh, BFSI sector. Um, and we deliver digital lending and transaction banking solutions uh, to global financial services industry, also in India. Uh, so post COVID, there has been a significant change. Uh, a lot of, of course, uh, as you know, the uh, the the financial services industry has done very well, especially in the year that has gone by. Um, uh, there, there's record profitability, there is robust credit growth, and, and there is a very strong asset quality. Of course, it has been possible uh, through um, underlying technology. Uh, uh, I think the digitization uh, has really played a big role during covid and post covid and i think this growth that uh, the industry has seen can be attributed partially to the uh, technology support that the industry has got you know if you look at technology you know you know the broader which includes everything has been pretty good uh, uh, in general there is a uh, big you know, innovations like chat GPT and all of these have come and really taken off. Generative AI has really made a big difference. So there are, and India obviously has seen a lot of momentum around semiconductor manufacturing, right? Uh, so uh, really on the back end with OSAT, for example, assembly of uh, a variety of different products, consumer electronic products, and clearly iPhone and Apple being one of the prominent ones. So overall, I think, you know, uh, from an India perspective, uh, you know, it's been a good year. Now, 2023 overall, at least from a semiconductor industry, has been rocky, right? Where the semiconductors have been going through a downturn, a cyclical downturn, driven by uh, uh, kind of inventory buildup during, you know, uh, as an aftermath of COVID. So there's been a little bit of of that that the entire semiconductor industry, uh, predominantly, most of them have been going through. Uh, but that should start to correct soon uh, in the near future. But uh, yeah, overall pretty good. I think it's a, you know if you look at generative AI and AI ML in general, how prominent they will be uh, in a variety of different industries. Uh, that's been pretty exciting to see, and India has been doing pretty well in terms of manufacturing in, in the electronic space. I think the key concerns were an extremely dynamically changing tech environment, uh, including lots of fintechs coming in, uh, coupled with uh, dynamic expectations from customers, uh, because customer expectations were changing uh, very fast, and uh, and the uh, industry was expected to respond to them very fast. Plus, a lot of fintechs coming in uh, because of which. Uh, there was dynamism. Uh, also, uh, integrations with fintechs were required. So these were the few challenges uh, that were coming in. Uh, I, I think uh, if you ask me about uh, the situation now, I think it is kind of stabilized in my view uh, because uh, uh, the, uh, especially in the, I'm again talking about the stack in which we operate, which is the BFSI sector. Um, while here also there is a lot of dynamism, etc. But uh, here equally important is, is the robustness of the solutions because we are in the BFSI sector. So there is, uh, we're playing with the customer's money. So robustness is key. And there is always this balance between uh, dynamism versus maintaining the robust robustness, the scalability. Um, so uh, as far as we are concerned, with the flexibility that we provide in our platforms, uh, a lot of these dynamic needs get taken care of uh, to an extent through uh, by doing some quick configuration changes or uh, building by building some uh, quick interfaces uh, with, with the FinTech solutions that are available. Um, as I mentioned, robustness is key, and this is the message we also convey to our customers that uh, uh, they should not uh, go in for 
too much of dynamism because ultimately the solutions have to function and they have to function well. The big concern, I mean, the big things that we were looking at 2023 for the tech companies was the downturn was kind of visible, right? Software, hardware, all the companies were, uh, were anticipating a downturn. Uh, and when you, when you look at that compared to what it was probably, you know, uh, uh, we also, most of the companies anticipated, uh, you know, didn't anticipate, I would say the duration of the, of the downturn overall. And I think the duration is longer. If you look back now compared to what I think most uh, folks in the tech industry thought, uh, you know, it's been a little longer, right, than what people would have anticipated. I would say, uh, I would not say two, I think uh, I, I would put it uh, broadly, which is like, uh, whether we call it uh, digitization or digital transformation. Uh, and it, it includes a lot of things into it. Uh, so we have seen our customers, which are again uh, banks and financial companies, enhancing their digital landscape uh, very significantly uh, through use of APIs, through use of STPs, uh, and, and uh, by integrating with various fintechs who, who have uh, come on the come in the space um, so essentially putting their digital business strategy in place uh, to grow their business and we have seen a few of our customers growing multifold in just one year uh, by putting in place their uh, digital business strategy uh, so that that's what uh, we have seen while uh, I would like to mention that while there has been a lot of hype about generative AI, but I think it will it will still take some time before the real application of this technology is ex exploited uh, to derive real business value uh, for for the customers. Uh, but essentially, it has been the, uh, the whoever has managed to put their digital business strategy in place have definitely benefited in terms of growing their business uh, in the last year the big the big ones is clearly the generative ai right chat gpt and uh, uh, you know open ai kind of fueled that i would say that's probably one of the biggest uh, uh, innovations in in the technology area and it impacts everyone including semiconductors for example you know for me in terms of software development that's also pretty transformative you know starting from either helping or using, you know, I, I would call it like AI assisted software development, starting from code generation, documentation, logging, triaging, even things like static analysis. So it's gonna be pretty transformative. So I think that to me is one of the biggest, uh, uh, really uh, blossoming of generative AI, right? It started, I think a year ago when when OpenAI released their chat GPT and 2023 it really took off. and. It's it's amazing to see how much things have changed just in a year, right? It's transforming multiple industries, so that's a big one. I think the other big one I would say is really in terms of is really how matter has started to, uh, you know, take more and more footprint in terms of driving adoption of IoT and addressing the main concerns around security, interoperability, and so on and so forth. So matter is a application layer standard. Uh, supported by all the big majors such as Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and we are the uh, the largest semiconductor code provider to the matter uh, uh, to the matter layer, and so we're pretty excited about what we are seeing uh, in terms of what matter the, the the trajectory is for matter and how it will transform a lot of the uh, applications and and really make it easier to adopt and really uh, you know start to accelerate the growth of uh, of internet of things in, in in the industry so i would say these two really uh, matter has become real it's starting you know there's just so many devices now coming with matter i mean i think one of the data that i saw just recently is about one third of the products uh, you know are matter only uh, the, you know the remaining one third are matter or open thread plus zigbee so that's really a massive change and then with wi-fi also now being part of matter it's really starting to take shape uh, and so I'm pretty excited about about that. So those two I would call out, you know, one specific to kind of the industry we are in and one just overarching that 
impacts you know everything i think from movie making to marketing uh, uh you know so that those are the two i would like to call out so i think one one which i ju just mentioned uh, uh is i think generative ai uh, will play a big role uh, and if we talk about uh, uh, the bfsi sector the banks and financial companies uh, I, I think um, they use a lot of chatbots uh, to to support their customers and i expect that these chatbots will evolve using the generative ai technologies these chatbots will become more intelligent uh they they will uh, become more efficient uh there is a possibility that uh, these chatbots may be able to take some decisions on behalf of their customers so that is one uh, second i think the use of advanced ai methods uh, to detect and prevent frauds uh, is something that that would come into play uh, i think uh, research and uh, work has been happening in this area for quite some time, uh, but I think it is time now that this technology, advanced AI methods are used to uh, detect and prevent fraud, uh, which is very important uh, in the uh, the financial sector. And lastly, I think uh, uh, composable architecture, uh, where you know various independent independent components are used to create an ecosystem. And through that ecosystem, uh, uh, the entities they provide enhanced capabilities is is the another trend which I expect it will catch on in the in the year to come. So these are the three things that I think will uh, will become prominent. Twenty twenty four is going to be if I were to just talk about one thing is really the 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 acceleration of uh, of things getting smarter more intelligent uh, and so i think ai ml getting more and more mainstream and impacting a lot of our daily lives and i think that we will see a massive acceleration of that in our space uh, as well with, with a lot of the stuff we do a lot of the edge nodes are getting very intelligent all the way up to generative ai that will change everything we do how we buy things how we look at things how do we gather data so you know i think it's an ai Really, it's going to be an AI year. I think that's the way I look at it, like 2024.